So welcome, Fricka and Pat. All right. Hi, everybody. All right. All right. Hi, everyone. It is Thursday, May 9th at 6.31 p.m. And uh, this is the GOL meeting for that date. I'm going to go ahead and call us to order and call roll to make sure everyone can hear us and be heard. Um, let's start off with Lynn Griesmer. Present. Councillor Ryan. I am present. Excellent. Uh, Councillor Ette. Present. And Pat DeAngelis. Present. Excellent. Thank you all so much. Um, so we, I pulled up the wrong thing. Hang on. We've got a bunch of proclamations, resolutions, et cetera, et cetera today in front of us. Um, and I'm vamping because I need to pull them up. But uh, I emailed everyone earlier today just to remind you of what our purpose is when we review things for clarity, consistency, and actionability. Um, because I think that we all sometimes can get a bit bogged down in details. So I want to just remind folks that we are not here to... Um, to, this is my like pre-meeting reminder as my computer loads. We are not here to change uh, anything beyond the absolute necessity for those three items. Um, okay, with that, we're gonna start with public comment and we don't have any public here at this time. So um, that is public comment. Lynn, are you able to pull up Word documents or would you like me to, and share or would you like me to do it? I'm um, more than glad to pull them up. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Or Athena, sorry. Oh, Athena, because Athena's not in class anymore, so I forgot. She can right. dedicate all of her time. To... <laughs> you have all my attention now, my <laughs> complete undivided attention. Uh, wild meeting at 6.30. I missed this last time. Um, are we doing South Congregational right. Church? Yeah, let's... So, um, I'm sorry for interrupting. Um, there's... Uh, George had made some edits and then Lynn had sent a revised draft. So we have two yeah. different documents with, I, I'm not sure what's in here. If if you go to the one, I'm sorry, I should raise my hand. If you go, go ahead, to, Lynn. if you go to the one I sent you, that was one that um, the sponsors and I uh, reviewed it and they had some grammatical edits. Okay. So that was it. All right, so we will start with this one. Um, Lynn, That's... not a big deal. I, I am happy to be a sponsor of this. I, I thought I had said that um, because it didn't reference the, um, but but I'm not trying to co-opt at the end. I didn't do any of the work, so I'm not um, requiring that. So uh, since we're using George's, let me pull up the one I did with the sponsors. Um. That, that would be great because I can't, it's difficult to look at both of them for me at the mm -hmm. same time. Right. Um, okay. So uh, you've added Hegner and uh, Devlin Gothier. Okay, fine. Uh, first, whereas they're fine with what changes were, were made here, I don't see. Uh, I, uh, if I may speak, um, I yes, didn't actually succeed in making changes. Um, whatever changes I did make, I took away because um, I didn't uh, think it was appropriate. Um, I, I'll explain. Uh, I'll talk to Athena about this later, uh, the problems I had with uh, making this work. Um, I just have a couple of questions about it, um, but we'll start. Where I, I had a question about the title, actually. Um, All right, yeah, let's go back up to the, to the top. Oh, I'm sorry, George. I thought these red lines were yours. I apologize. Uh, they, pro they probably are, but as you can see, yeah, there shouldn't be any text there. There shouldn't be any, because if, if there were, I tried to take it all out because gotcha. I was following your instructions. Um, I always, yeah. So I have a question sure. about the title. Yeah, go ahead. Um, my understanding, and correct me, is that this is a commemoration of the 200th anniversary of the South Congregational Church in Amherst. Mm -hmm. Is that That's that, was that is correct? So we're not commemorating a year. We're commemorating the fact that the South Congregational Church is celebrating its 200th anniversary. Is my understanding of what this is about? Yes, uh, I'm happy to be corrected. So I would suggest the title should be something like "Commemoration of the 200th Anniversary of the South Congregational Church, United Church of Christ, Amherst, Mass." Yep, I think that. And I would fine. delete. In, I would delete in celebration. I, yeah, it's it's just yeah. a commemoration. This is a commemoration, not a proclamation. 
Yeah. Um, is if I understand what the intent is. I also would. No, add, you leave the commemoration in. Yes, commemoration stays in, and in celebration comes out. Is what? Yeah, I'm it should just be commemoration of the oh, 200th the anniversary. anniversary of the South Congregational Church United Church of Christ Amherst Mass. Um, I also would wonder about having the community sponsors here because, in, in fact, we're commemorating them. And I, I'm sure that they were instrumental in getting this put together, which is great. But um, it, it it seems a little odd to have. I mean, imagine if we were commemorating some important person in town and then we, you know, had as the sponsor that person. Um, so I just, I don't know, maybe people feel the same way I do. But it seems I was just like, trying to find a... a no, I understand. No, I agree a with sponsor. you. Sponsor. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. And if we don't need a community sponsor, then well, I'm just wondering whether it makes sense to have it there. Um, and we need to get the word commemoration in here. Yeah. I don't think that the sponsor. I'm going to hold us to our clarity, consistency, actionability. I don't. I agree with you, George, generally, but I don't think that that impacts on okay. any of the three items. Okay. Are there any other concerns about the title? Do people agree with me that that's the intent here? I think that is the intent. Yes, I agree with you, George. All right, fine. Um, okay. And then Councilor Etta, yours is not on the title. Okay. Uh, Councilor Ryan, what's your next one? I think you're uh, each whereas clause should have a semicolon and and. That's what I was actually trying to put in when I was yes, it should. around with this. But I gave up because I didn't like the way it looked, and I wasn't sure I should be doing it anyway. So semicolon and um, should be inserted, except for the so, last. Not the last one. The last one is just period. Yes. Um, Athena, I have a procedural question for you. One thing that I was going to suggest folks do today was download a copy of this and, and edit it in Word on their own version, not in SharePoint and email that to me because I can use the like reconcile feature in Word to put all the edits in one place. I, Is that okay? That's um, okay for me to do, right? No, because that's not in open meeting. But I'm not putting them together. Like people aren't emailing them to each other. They're emailing them to me as chair for our for the consideration at the meeting. But the changes need to be made in open meeting. Right, they would be. They would be. We're but not they're there in front of us to look they at. Show up as, right. Yeah, they show up as track changes. It's just that we'd be looking at all of them at once. Athena, mm -hmm. is that permissible? If all the members send their edits to one person who then incorporates them into a new document and shares them at a meeting, that's acceptable. Okay. As track changes, again, like we then go through and look at them. All right, so folks, we might do that in the future just as an FYI. I will walk you through how to do it. That's what I was hoping for to get to, but I didn't explain it clearly. Okay, so uh, first whereas, we good to go to the first whereas? Um, mm -hmm. Councilor Ate, you had your hand up before. Like George, I found the absence of and quite conspicuous. So he referenced what I was going to speak about. Oh, great. Okay, uh, second whereas? We already have ha the word has changed to have. Great, thank you. And this next one, um, it shouldn't be, yes, it should, and in the very last line, use of and historic, it should be and. It's already changed. Councilor Ryan? This is where I run afoul of the chair's instructions, so I may be shut down here um, right. and we'll shut up. But um, again, as I said last week or last time we met, whenever it was, generally speaking, you'd like to have one thought per whereas or one string of thoughts, not separate sentences. Um, and the second sentence is just kind of a statement uh, as a, I don't know, that it's, I don't know how others feel, but... Um, and I didn't have the time to go through and edit it, so maybe I'll just shut up. But I, I'm not happy with it as a just following our format. Um, right. it, it shouldn't be multiple sentences. It should be a single thought, a single sentence. We can change. We can make it up your ass. That's that, but I don't. But people just agree. I mean, maybe they they don't care. I don't. It's I just my 
thought is the whereas should be da 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 and yep. then there's a second thought be a separate whereas um i agree george because i think it's a separate it's saying something different from the first sentence i think it should be my, bumped into a new i think if it's two sentences saying this on the same topic that's one thing but this changes topic so i agree that we should bump the second sen bump that second sentence into a new paragraph and i think it should be whereas the south congregational church serves the community as much more Then a house of worship and promotes and welcomes the appreciation. I think the rest of it can probably be fine. Yeah. Um, I I don't want to remove the integral to the town's fabric, and so I'm trying to just quickly move it to um, whereas the South Congregational Church serves the community as much more than a house of worship. And that that reference is actually a reference to the church itself. There's a difference between the church building and the community and what it does in the community. The first part of it is talking about the building. Yep. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I just didn't want to delete something that they had written. Um, I think what Athena just did makes it work in my brain. I was just struggling to make it make sense. Good. Good. Um, okay. Uh, next one, whereas we South Carolina there Church. to its, and there needs to be a space after it. Yep. Point of order. Um, Councilor Ate has oh, his thank hand you. up. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Councilor Ate. So I'm generally in agreement that we should refrain as much as possible from um, making changes based on style, but I wouldn't want us to tie our hands so completely that we wouldn't be able to make changes that would um, benefit the texts that we are looking at. That being said... I, I hear um, you, but unless it's unless it's in support of clarity or consistency and actionability, we, we're not supposed to do that. So as long as it's in service of those things, that's okay. But that yeah. our charge is is those three things only. But um, go ahead, go ahead. I'd like to, I wanna hear what you're gonna say, but just that's what I mean when I say that. It's not my preference. It's that's the, the what we were um, asked to do specifically by the council. Okay, Um. um that being said, everything that has gone forward has been um, I, I think in service of what um, has been mentioned up to this moment. And I think what um, Councillor Ryan had said is something that we should um, keep doing as well, which is have one thought per paragraph. I agree. I think that's a good measure for consistency. Thank you. Councillor Ryan? Yeah, I think the other thing to keep in mind is this goes out under our name. We're the ones who sign it not the South Congregational Church, not whoever happens to be the community sponsor. It goes out in our name. And so we need to keep that in mind. It's ultimately our text and in our name, not in anyone else's name. So um, and, I don't yep. share the view that we can't uh, alter it, um, but I, I'm happy with trying to keep the language as much as possible. But in the end, this is our document, not, not anybody else's. George, the council can alter it, but GOL cannot. GOL's job is to review for clarity, consistency, and actionability. And when it goes to the council, the council can mm -hmm. have a say because it's the council. It's not GOL's signature on it. It's the council's signature on it. So when it goes back to the council for approval, if people want to edit the language that beyond what, what is making it clear, consistent, and actionable, that's the point to do it. And if I'm incorrect, please, please someone step in here. But when it's referred to us, it's to review it for clarity, consistency, and actionability, not for substantive changes that would be a separate motion well i don't want to change the substance but um yeah the other thought of course is that it's on the consent agenda almost 99 percent of the time and while i agree that it should be up to the council to take it off the consent agenda i think that's rarely going to happen they're going to trust that we've done our job um, which, which we have agree, which right which i agree does include not changing substance but uh anyway okay councillor Ate. I think I defer to Pat, who hasn't spoken yet. Thank you. Pat? Oh, thank you, Councillor Ette. I happen to agree with George here, and I think with Councillor Ette also. I think you're, um, you're slimming this down in a way that actually will work against us. 
Um, if there were sponsors here, we could change substance with their agreement. We have had discussions about that. We can't change substance, but we can. Clarity can really does also sometimes have to do with style and stuff. Um, style is not exactly the word I want to use. So I really don't agree with your analysis, Anna. That's okay. I'm reading to you all what the directives are from the GOL. But you're interpreting website. that directive in a very specific way that I think that is inaccurate. Have If anyone has suggested a change that I have said no to, because I do not believe that, that it's not up to me. What I shared with the committee was the information from the website, and I asked us to please remain within that charge. If mm -hmm. there are things that folks would like to change beyond that, they're welcome to bring them up. I am not a one-person committee. I can't say, no, we're not going to change that. People are you're, to you're, pre -judging, you're prejudging what someone might offer as uh, a suggestion. So I feel I'm, I'm uncomfortable with that. I hear you. Um, we often spend a lot of time on these. And I think that often we get bogged down in things that are not clarity, consistency, and actionability. We're now spending a lot of time discussing this topic, which is fine. But if people have suggestions, I welcome them to raise them. I will stand by the fact that we do not have a motion to make substantive changes and that we shouldn't be doing that. If but you we're would not like to making substantive changes. I agree. I agree with, with that. It's your interpretation of the word is too broad. If you could please share with me what you are hearing my interpretation as, because right now all I've shared is the definitions that were provided to us and no one has said anything that I've said no to. I don't have the right to say no to anything. So I'm, I'm happy to keep progressing. I don't, I do not believe I've shot anything down because I don't have the right to do that. And if, and if people have interpreted my words that way, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not my intention. Councilor Ryan? We should proceed. Okay. Um, is there anything else on this paragraph or on any of the preceding paragraphs that folks did not feel comfortable raising before? Lynn? This paragraph has two sentences, so we need need to either blend them or right. uh, do another whereas. I think they could be blended, um, I think. That's my thoughts, but yes. I was looking I think for a, a suggestion, comment. George. Well, I was going to suggest after the end of the first sentence, um, or maybe just a comma, and then forming a community that values, openness, and social and climate justice that nourishes, right, and then just the string of, so I think the key there is forming a community that, and then get rid of the, that, that values, and then openness, good, and social and climate justice, get rid of prevail, forming a community, uh, and, uh, <laughs> It gets complicated, doesn't it? Um, maybe, and, and that nourishes intergenerational, right? Just trying to keep the language as much as possible. That nourishes intergenerational relationships through care and fellowship. Comma is open and affirming, immigrant welcoming, and a great, da, 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 da. I think the rest of it is okay. I mean. Let's try that. Yeah, that work. Okay. So the Sun Congregational Church Amherst celebrates its mission with the help of members and friends from towns throughout Western Massachusetts and beyond, forming a community that values openness, social and climate justice, that nourishes intergenerational relationships through care and fellowship, is open and affirming, immigrant welcoming, and a green congregation of the United Church of Christ seeking to sow the seeds of justice, peace, and love, period. Uh, yeah, thank you. Lynn? That's, I agree. It keeps the language, I think, and and I think it's you know, okay. Yeah. Councilor Ate. That's a mouthful. Um it's mm -hmm. quite a good mouthful. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Um, but again, this I think points to how the line on um the clarity and consistency gets blurred because by blending these two sentences are we actually keeping what the original writers wanted? You know, so it can get a bit fuzzy. So I'm um, just requesting that we be nimble if we, we can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. 
Have yeah, we made that change? Yes, we need to make a change here so it reflects the title. So we do hereby commemorate the 200th anniversary of the South. I think that's what mm -hmm. we're trying to say, I think. Yes. Of the yes. 200 of, 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 of the South Congregational Church and or just colon or you could say and thank the members at, you know whatever yeah and, and then i think the rest of it i think is okay yeah All right, great. Uh, oh, Councillor Essay. I almost skipped these from some of the various paragraphs. So what we have is that in we usually have South Congregational Church Amherst, but there's no comma. And so in most of the sentences, it makes Amherst the subject, not the church. So there needs to be a separating comma so that the church becomes the subject. Okay, so we just wanna run back through and make sure we've got that. So you're saying yeah. we need a comma after Amherst, is that right? Yes, second paragraph. Third. Fifth. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, you, okay. Do, oh. Could you go back up to the top? Mm -hmm. The title. Yeah. It's not, so we're missing a T at the beginning, it looks like, I think. We're missing the word commemoration. Mm -hmm. That too. That's it. You want Amherst here, United Church of Christ, like that, yes, and then so take this out. Good. Okay. Is that acceptable? Any issues with that as written? George has a hand up. Oh, sorry, George. I'm prepared to make a motion. Excellent. I'd love to hear that motion. Um, I move to declare the uh, commemoration of the 200th anniversary of the South Congregational Church Amherst, Amherst Mass, to be clear, consistent, and actionable. Second. Is there a second? Thank you, Councillor Ette. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and call the vote. Uh, Lynn Griesmer. Yes. Pat DeAngelis. Aye. Councillor Ette. Aye. Uh, Councilor Ryan? Aye. And I am an aye as well. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to the 2024 Pride Month proclamation. Athena, do you have that one? Great. Okay. Any issues with the title? Can we make it bigger? Can you zoom in at all, Athena? Um, okay, starting with the first whereas. Is this from 
Uh, how identical to last year is this? Uh, it is exactly identical until the end. Oh, sorry, we removed, I think, a couple words in one of the paragraphs. Okay. Pat, please correct me if I'm mistaken. Um, you're muted. Sorry, was your hand? Yeah, you that's something? correct. Thank you. Okay, next one. Uh, I have a question me... quick, and, and yep. I missed part of when we got together to talk about this. Is Evan not a count, uh, community sponsor? Is no, you... he's not. Okay, thank you. Um, he wasn't last year either. Um, I believe. Okay, so... I'm going to keep going through. We're on the third whereas now, whereas since the Stonewall Uprising. All right. Whereas 20 years ago, this is one of the things we changed because now it's 20 years ago, not 19 years ago. Councilor Ette? Um, just a style question about um, Goodridge versus Department of Health. Mm -hmm. um, since it's a legal case, do we, within the text, use italics or um, something to just point out that the case is significant? Um, I do not believe we've used italics in the past. I don't have a strong feeling on it either way. Would you rather us do that? We haven't set, I, to my recollection, we have not necessarily set a precedent on this. I'd have to go back and look at other, um, other documents to see. I think it's fine. Um, just, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Whereas we celebrate and reflect upon. Okay. Whereas the, whereas the LGBTQ commu plus community. Okay. Whereas while there has been remarkable progress. And whereas we remain vigilant and active. All right, next page. Whereas we recognize that queer and trans people of color. Um, there's an awkward spacing here, Athena. I think it's probably my fault. Um, whereas the town of Amherst, after this whereas, there should be another space, like a paragraph space, yeah. And whereas Amherst recognizes, whereas we affirm our support. Now, therefore, should be a comma between June and 2024, I think. Be it further proclaimed and be it further proclaimed again. So this last sentence was shifted as well because we're gonna raise the flag, but there is an official ceremony that's separate that's later on after the flag has been raised. All right. Um, so when is oops. pardon? So the flag is going to be up June 1st to June 30th, but there is an event that the DEI office is holding on um, June 13th. Councilor Ryan, Councilor Ryan, you're muted. Sorry, prepared oh, no, 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 motion. Uh, Lynn, did you have something before Councilor Ryan? It was a yeah. question about the actual celebration. Oh, okay. All right, let's get through the vote and then we can see if we can answer that. Councilor Ryan, do you have a motion for us? I move to declare the Town of Amherst Proclamation recognizing June as lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, uh, Pride Month to be clear, consistent, and actionable. And I will second that motion. All right, calling a vote. Uh, Pat DeAngelis? Aye. Councilor Ette? Aye. Uh, Lynn Griesmer? Aye. Councilor Ryan? Aye. And I am an aye as well. Lynn, you said you had a question? Uh, so when will the proclamation be read? At the event on the 13th. Thank you. Yep. Um, I need to let my dog in who's growling at the door, but we're going to go to the race Amity Day proclamation. Sorry, it's really distracting. Councilor Ryan, did you have uh, something? To say? No, okay. Uh, race Amity Day is up next. Just come in. My goodness. All I could hear in the background was like Wookiee noises because that's what she does when she's displeased with me. Anyone else is welcome to start doing that too. I happily accept Growling? noises. <laughs> no, specifically Wookiee noises, not a growl. <laughs> All right. Um, Pat, you were you raising your I would like to be added as a council sponsor. Okay. 
Uh, and my name was actually on there. I thought. Okay. And um, usually we just go counselors, DeAngelis, Reesmer, yeah. et cetera. Uh, counselor, I I'm going to let, Athena, are you ready for us? Okay, Counselor Ashe? I'd also requested to be a sponsor. Excellent. Look at that. Um, okay. I just wanted to look at something really quick here, sorry. Um, is there, so with the title here, what I was trying to pull up and my computer's being too slow. Yeah, okay. Proclamations are usually just like blank, blank proclamation, not proclamation of, okay. Um, no other issues with the title going on. All the whereas's should be in bold. Just uh, that's a consistency with other ones. Um, it doesn't need to, we don't need to do it right this second, but as we go through. Councillor Ate. I think this is a case where e pluribus unum should be italicized. Okay. I agree. I kind of agreed with you that the lot the case should be italicized too, but I wasn't feeling decisive enough one way or another to be like, yes. Okay. Um any other on the first paragraph? Okay, second one. Whereas the Amherstown Council. Okay. Third. And fourth, chapter 163. Should we say as race Amity Day in Massachusetts? Does that matter? Because they're not, it's, it's not established that everywhere, right? It's just in the Commonwealth. It doesn't matter. Okay. It says the Commonwealth, I'm sorry. No, I know, but I was trying to figure out if that was, if that was obvious to other folks that that meant only in the Commonwealth. Lynn? It says that it was done in the Commonwealth, so we, we can't declare it elsewhere. So I don't Great. see any reason for reason to do that. Excellent. And then, Thank you. Yeah. But I have my hand raised for the next one. Oh, okay. Great. Next one. Uh, Amherst Town Meeting voted Article 29. <sighs> and I would just say, in the, I don't, I don't know what session they did it in. Maybe I can find it by the by the time we're finished. Go ahead, I'll keep looking. I'll see if I okay, can find if it. Okay, if not, we can edit this to just say in 2024. But um, no, sorry, no, they didn't do it in 2024. It, that's, that's what I was going to say. It shouldn't say. It should say 2000 and whatever that we did it. When was right. it? I'm looking. Okay. Okay. Um, any other ones on that other than the date, Councilor Ryan? Oh, okay. Uh, now, therefore, there we go, Councilor Ryan. Should it be we, the town, the Amherst Town Council? It should be. Yep. So now, therefore, we, the Amherst Town Council, proclaim. Mm -hmm. Hereby proclaim. Mm -hmm. Take out the S. Thank you. Sunday, June 9th. And ask, take off the S. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Excellent. Uh, and then there's a weird thing there, yeah. Okay, so I'm ready to go back to the blank. Okay. It should read. Um, hang on, I'm not sure where totally annual right town meeting. Wait, wait, hang on, Lynn. Hang on, sorry. We're just catching up. Okay. 
Okay. Um, all right. Now we're back there. Go ahead. Whereas, comma, Amherst Town Meeting voted Article 29 of the May 20, comma, 2015 session of the annual town meeting. Great. Okay. Any other comments? All right. Do I have a motion on this one? And I'm prepared to make a motion. All right. All yours. I move to declare the Race Amity Day Annual Proclamation 2024 to be clear, consistent, and actionable. Second. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and call the vote. Councilor Ette? Aye. Pat DeAngelis? Aye. Uh, Councilor Ryan? Aye. Uh, Lynn? Teresa? Aye. And I am an aye as well. All right. Great. Thank you. Resolution in support of paint stewardship legislation is up next. Thank you, Athena. And if we could, yes. All right. Um, quick thing on this as a sponsor, my name does not have a hyphen. Councilor Ette? And it also does have an L between the V and the I. The perk for this resolution is that every, every word after whereas is capitalized. And I don't think that that is the case. Yep, that's correct. Um, and then I think that what Lynn was saying before was with the council sponsors, don't we typically say council sponsors, councillors, so and so and so and so? No. Yes. Um, so if we could add that word in, that'd be great at the top. Thank you. Councillor Ryan? Just a general comment. I don't know what to do about it. Probably nothing. Um, but the proclamation or resolution in this case does make, maybe it's in the uh, accompanying fact sheet, but it does make. Um, claims of fact, um, and I guess we just take it, I mean, I don't know what to say about something. I mean, 4% this and that and that. Um, are we, I, I guess I'm a little uncomfortable just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's the basis for these claims? Is it is it in the fact sheet? I really didn't look at the fact sheet that carefully. Um, should it be referenced? Um so uh, there are one or two factual claims, 30% in the last five years, 4% in one of the whereas clauses. Um, I don't know, what do people make of those kinds of factual claims? Um, do we need footnotes? Do we have to reference some kind of document or we just sort of take it on faith? I think in the past, and I'll look to both you and Pat to add your thoughts on this as prior chairs of GOL, but I believe that in the past we have done one or the other. Um, but we have tried to include reference to where people can find the information, um, which I think is valid in this case as well. So I don't have strong feelings whether it's a footnote or whether it's in the text directly. I think in the past, GOL had had conversations about whether or not footnotes were appropriate for resolutions. Um, Pat, I believe that, I, I can't remember if that was something that happened when you were sharing. I honestly don't remember, but I think um, having footnotes at the bottom at the end of it would be better than having them inserted during the but I could that's a personal preference I don't know mm -hmm. um, all right so then you're saying let me just pull up the fact sheet to try to find a citation for you can we come back to this one at the end while I'm um, pull this up we can move on to the next one thank you um All right, so sorry, we had skipped the first one, so nothing there, I'm assuming. Uh, cost of hauling and disposal, whereas municipal waste management systems, any thoughts there? Councilor Ryan? I'm wondering if, uh, unless there's some special time uh, requirement here, maybe there is, and this is up to the sponsors, since we do need some uh, adjustments to this, it, at least it sounds like the committee would like to have some kind of Footnotes, at least for at least two of the claims of fact, um, that we simply ask that it be edited and brought back to us at our next meeting. Do we have to do this ourselves tonight, trying to find it in a document and try to footnote it? 
um, could we just say, please come back with these uh, providing a footnote for each, um, and then we'll deal with this at some other meeting? Um, I think uh, that the, oh, sorry. Did I'm sorry, something? I can provide you information. Okay. Uh, it's, okay. It's, the uh, legislation is not being taken up until June 18th. So yes. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say is that I think that we can, because it's not coming up until the 18th, we could, the sponsors had requested, the community sponsors had requested that it come before GOL um, on this date. And um, okay. okay, June 18th is not that far away. But June 18th and June 18th is not that far. I think I'm just trying to pull up and look at the council meeting schedule to see if the timing we have, would work. Um, we have another meeting on the 20th and another on June 3rd. So if we, if GOL takes this up on the 23rd, then um, this could come before the council on June 3rd. Well, we have two of the sponsors present. I wonder what they're, I mean, I'm willing to go either way. Um, but No, George, I think that it's valid. I think that this is enough of, this is enough that, um, I think you're right that in keeping with our focus on clarity, consistency, and actionability, it's also calling it when we would need to do too much research. So um, I personally would be comfortable with sending this back to the sponsors. Is there any objection from anyone else on the committee? No, I agree that it, we can send it back to us <laughs> to get the information on. Thank you. Okay. All right. Seeing no objection. I think we don't need to vote to do that, right? We can just request more, um, more information, specifically adding in uh, citations. Sure. And okay, it's going to be done as footnotes, right? Unless it grammatically, unless as sponsors, we decide it flows better to have it say according to the dot, dot, dot over 30%, but we'll include citations as footnotes, yes. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, 2024 Memorial Day Proclamation. This was the same as last year, except for... Um, changing dates. Councilor Ryan. So I'm prepared to make a motion. All right, before Councilor Ryan makes the um, motion, are there any edits that people had? I don't know why there's that big space, but um, any edits that folks had on anything in this document? Councilor Ate? I request just uh, a little time to look over it. Okay. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, can you go back up to sponsors? I think I was going to be a sponsor. Or maybe I am. You are. Yes. Are there others? Yes. I'm happy to be a sponsor if you're looking for folks. I, this is where we march in a parade and read this in public. I know. It's I've been there a, every time. I love it. Yeah. Com Councilor Arte? I've requested to be a sponsor as well. I'm sorry. Did someone else say they wanted to? Councilor Arte and I did. Um, Councilor Arte, did you have something else? Okay, um, I see the May 27, so that's good. I had a comma that I was going to place, but that would be stylistic, so no question, no, nothing. If it's clarity, consistency, or actionability, it's, it's welcome, to be clear. Um, all right, okay. Pat, do you have something you'd like to add? No, but sometimes style makes things clearer. So I don't That's think- That's why I said thinking. if it's clarity, yep. consistency, or actability, yep. I'm, I'm happy to take it. That's why I didn't. All right. You didn't look noise at me, so I'm gonna keep going. Councilor Ate, I do welcome any edits that you have as they pertain to, to those three things, to be clear. I'm not trying to make anyone stop making any edits. Yeah, go ahead. I recognize that. I generally find that like salt, an extra comma always makes things better. Uh, but that is my personal taste. That is also my personal taste. So I understand fully. Councillor Ryan? This is a committee that loves commas. Mm -hmm. Especially Oxford commas. I love an Oxford comma. That was my Twitter bio for the longest that was, time. Yes. Councillor uh, <laughs> Ryan, do you have a motion for us? I move to declare the Memorial Day Proclamation May 2024 to be clear, consistent, and actionable. 
Second. Is there a second? Thank you, Councillor Ate. Um, going to the vote, Councillor Ryan? Aye. Councillor Ate? Yes. Lynn? Yes. And Pat? Aye. And I am an I as well. All right. Um, okay, so we've got a lot of calendar fun to have tonight. Um, I have played with this every which way and sideways, um, and I'm hopeful that folks might have some thoughts as well. But we have two interviews to schedule, uh, or two sets of interviews to schedule. Um, and I tried to make a draft out, um, and I'm going to pull it up. Okay, let me start from the beginning, context. George put together a while ago, a very helpful document that tried to list out about how much lead time to give folks for the different elements of these interview processes. Um, I tried to look at calendars um, of when we meet and think about what it might look like to um, schedule some of these interviews. I want to, if folks are okay with it, start with the charter review committee, because I think that's gonna be harder um, because there are more interviews. So unless there are any objections, I'm gonna start with that. Um, one second. All right. You're all about to see a scary part of my brain, which is me trying to make calendars. All right. One second, sorry. I don't actually know what it selected. That's not what I wanted to share. Hang on, sorry. I pulled it out so you wouldn't see the mess of tabs that I had and then just showed you the mess of tabs that I had. So doing great. All right. Um, so this is what I tried to do and I am sure that there's 17 things wrong with it. So uh, looking forward to thoughts and corrections, but the general gist here is that um, we've got at least 17 to 19 people to interview for this committee, depending on if, if folks drop out before the interviews. So when I did the math based on our questions, I, I mapped it to be about 20 minutes per person. And that is about 15 minutes for the interview. And then I gave us a five minute buffer, um, which includes things like tech, bringing them into the room, which takes 30 seconds, um, introduction, just having them say hello. And, um, that get brought us to three people an hour. George. Uh, I'm, when you're ready, I just, I have some thoughts, but. Yeah. No, go for it. That was, that was statement one was, that was my math. If people um, would like to cut it shorter. No, I think that we're going to have to do it over multiple nights. Um, I had actually suggested 21, 22, and 23 as an ideal, partly because 23 is actually a GOL meeting. It's already scheduled. Yep. And there's nothing, I don't think there's anything wrong with um, having, a, if you have to have interviews on the 23rd, the hope is you wouldn't, but you could use part of the meeting in case you needed to push people into that slot. You still could deliberate the 23rd. Uh, there's nothing, I don't think anything wrong with, if you had to have one or two interviews, hopefully not more than that or a couple as like a, mm -hmm. so you'd have three nights, you could, you could sign people a particular night. And if they had to change, you could move them around. They have three nights to choose from preferably 21 or 22, 23 would be for any special cases, and we could deliberate on the 23rd. If we deliberate on the 23rd, it could get to the council by June 3rd. Mm -hmm. If we wait till yep. the following week, then it gets, I think it still would work. I think it would still be June 3rd. Um, so you could do, if you people couldn't make those three nights, you could do the 28th, 29th, 30th, but you're running up against Memorial Day weekend. Um, so... But I, I personally I let others see what they think, but I like three nights in a row with the third night you vote. We don't Thank need you. a special meeting, I don't think. Yep, and uh, sorry, just to explain my calendar here, these are sort of options, right? Yes. Um, I didn't extend into Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, but um, this was the general option. My calendar starts on Mondays in case that wasn't clear. Lynn? Um, the 21st is already taken for a hearing on the budget. Right. 
Oh yeah, I made this before that was scheduled. Sorry. So yeah. That's, yeah so I that's wouldn't. out. So I apologize. do the twenty second, the twenty third. I will personally tell you I'm not available on the thirtieth, and I do want to be here for the vote. That makes sense. Okay. Um, could we? Okay, and Madam, keep going through the list, Pat. Yeah, I have CRC on the 28th and an Amherst Mobile Market meeting on the 29th. Um, and it's 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 tricky. The schedule is tricky. Um, I will try to I will try to be there. It, but it it's like I'm giving up several other things. So that are important also. So what time is CRC I'm, on the 28th past? 6.30. Yeah, it runs the same, same like yeah. that. Yeah. And yeah, the mobile market meeting uh, is usually around seven. I can, I can miss that if I have to. Um, but that's the night, that's the 29th? That's the 29th. I can miss that. It's also on the 22nd, but I, I can figure out how to deal with that. I may be able to get some of it rescheduled. So what about the possibility of doing interviews on the 28th from like four to six? Hmm. Does, it, does anyone have a conflict on the, let me check to make sure I don't have anything. That would does work. anyone else have a conflict on the 28th from four to six? Well, we have two members who work, so that could be an issue. Um, I should be able to get out of work at, I, or at least get on a Zoom at four. I don't know if Freke can do that either. Right. Yep, Freke, can you? Councilor Arte, can you? Um, I could ask and get an answer back to you. I wouldn't make. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. So we'll say that possible interviews four to six. Is that right? And yeah. then because CRC is at 6.30, so that gives Pat like time a tiny tiniest bit of time to keep hey. basically right and then what? then the, the problem is so i i'm the one with the conflict on the 30th yep so we would need to move the decision up to the 29th and this is when pat you said you had a conflict right so i can we look at i the, can i can be flexible about the mobile market meetings, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, um, can I? How many people are we interviewing an hour? Three. So, can we yeah. can we do fifteen minute interviews? I just don't think it's realistic. And why? And because there are just too many questions. Um, I believe with the number of questions that we have, and uh, unless you wanted to cut down the responses to one minute per person. Yeah. which I I know that we've done before. I just struggle with that. I will share that I, mm -hmm. I struggle with that. Mm -hmm. So we um, should but be But if the eight... committee votes for that. I'm sorry. No, Lynn? We should be able, if we interview on the 28th from four to six, and I might add, we could take those interviews, okay? So that Councillor Ette could look at them that night and then we could deliberate on the 29th. That means we have 18, 22 spl slots for interviews. So my only, my concern with that, it, are you, sorry, so you're saying that do interviews on these two days, mm -hmm. on the 22nd and the 23rd? My and only the concern, 28th. And the 28th, yeah. My only concern is with such a big gap between interview dates. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't love it. If we have to do it, we have to do it. But I think if it's possible to, um, get it in sooner, that would be ideal. Um, I know I, so I have a, another job, not my full-time job that I do on Wednesday nights. I can see if I can get a sub, um, and if people could start earlier on the 22nd, but that's, these are long, this is, that's a, it's a pretty brutal week for people. Council Ryan, I, I don't know. Pat. 
I didn't mean to have my hand up. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. It's still up, just so you know. Uh -huh. um, I'm still just trying to figure, I, you know, I'm going to try to be as flexible as I can. Same. I think y'all are now realizing that, or, or not realizing, not now witnessing and welcome to the math that I was trying to do by myself at my kitchen table that didn't go well. So the 20s, I mean, I think we need to ask you and Councillor Ette, Anna, whether you can do anything earlier. It depends. For me personally, it depends on the day. I teach a class Wednesday nights. I need to just get a sub because I'm already getting a sub for the week before. Um, so if I can find someone to sub for me, I can start earlier in the day uh, at any time, probably after 4.30. That's my work day technically ends at 4 30. I think Councillor Hattes is different. Councillor Ryan. So these interview sessions will be taped. So they will be. if you're if you were absent for whatever reason, you will have the ability to go and watch the tape and still yeah. be able to vote with a clear conscience. Correct. And it shouldn't change anything about the process because we're not at asking any add-on interviews. Nothing that we do in the interview should be different from one to the next. Right. Uh, Councilor Ate? These are meetings of GOL, so they should be taped regardless, shouldn't they? Yes, and they, they will be. They are all taped. Okay. So, so we, we just need a quorum. You just need a quorum. Right. So if you wanted to start earlier on the 22nd or the 23rd um we could do that I, again i think it's up to councilor ette and you well i think to to the point that councilor ette was just making as long as three people can be there the rest of us who if any of us can't be there we can watch and will watch the recording before voting councilor ette so there's that, but um, I am open to earlier as long as I make that request. So it's it's not um, out of the question that I would start earlier on any of those interview dates. I just would need to make that request. Okay, so here's the, the other question I wanna ask people. We're talking about time as if it has no impact on our well-being as humans. Are people able to bump earlier with this, knowing that we have a council meeting on the 20th, a budget hearing on the 21st, and then two days of meetings, the 22nd and 23rd for interviews. I just wanna check in because that feels like a lot. I, I'd like Are a clarification. Okay with it? Yeah. Are we saying that it would be like 5.30 to 9.30? Or are we talking about starting it at 4.30 to to 7.30 or what are, I'm, I. Uh, good clarification, Pat. I think that when we're looking at this, I, I wanna go and look at the CAFs um, and I can't pull them up while I'm screen sharing, but I believe we're at 17 or 18. Um, so this would perfectly fill and that assumes no conflict with anyone who's interviewing schedule. So I'd like to add, I think at least another hour or so into this to give people some time to sign up for a slot that works for them. All right, I um, can't physically, I can barely do three hours. Yeah, uh, and, that's really fair. Yeah, and I apologize for that. So three hours is my limit, whether it starts earlier or, or stays at 6.30. Um, okay, so here's my here's my other question. Let's let's talk about pushing it earlier in a moment. Let's, let's table that for now uh, in terms of just keeping the same three hours and moving it earlier. That's a separate thing. I think it's valid, but that's a separate thing for, for now. <clears throat> excuse me the other option would be to not press ourselves to deliberate on the 23rd and pull together for an hour strictly on the 24th to do our deliberation Councilor ryan i think i've lost the thread a bit what's wrong okay. with 28 29 and 30 the following week um what? Like what's the problem there? CRC is on the CRC. 28th, okay. And um, then and then um, I can't Lynn is do not the here on the 30th. Lynn's not on the 30th. So those dates, that that trio is out. But the and Pat has a conflict on the 29th. 
<clears throat> Isn't the 29th available? Am I, did I? I thought you had a conflict that day. I that will, I will adjust that conflict. So we could do 22 and 23, and then a, a meeting on the 29th for any leftover interviews and a vote. Yeah, we could do that. And then it goes to the council on June 3rd. And I think one of the things that's driving my thinking is that this is, for many reasons, overdue. And mm -hmm. if we don't get it to the council by June 3rd, the next time the council meets is June 17th. Yep. The council, the council's not going to have a special meeting just for us. So, um, <laughs> uh, so. Can we cut this one to just be 6.30 to 8.30? I don't see why not, because the only thing is any leftover interviews and then a discussion and vote. And that's the only thing on the agenda. So the only question I have about that is how we communicate to people that these are the interview days. This is the makeup day, like that we want interviews to happen on the 22nd, 23rd. I think we basically have said, if you can't make it, then that's tough. We're giving them three choices. That's a lot. I'm wondering if you even okay. give them a choice. You assign them a day and time and then ask them to get back to you if that's a problem. And if they get back to you with a problem, you can say, well, another date is, say that you give them the 22nd. You can say, well, there's time on the 23rd. And if they say, oh, I can't do that either, then you say your last option is the 29th. And if they can't make any of those, then that, what can we do? Athena, are we allowed to do a sign up genius or something to sign up for interview slots? Up to you how you want to schedule interview weeks. That's usually what George just described as my personal nightmare of having well, to go back and forth with 18 people 17. But times. if you leave it up to them, um, they'll get to it when they feel like it, if ever. Uh, fair. I see your point. I think that what we can say is I, if I sent out a link that says sign up for an interview and they, they sign up and I say, you have we have to post the meeting. So we have a deadline for them to sign up for the interviews, which would be the what Friday before, if the meetings, if that's a Tuesday. Um, I think they should I? sign up by the sixteenth. And we say if you haven't signed up by the six by the sixteenth. Oh yeah, because I'm post. That's the that's when I said we we're going to post the meeting. So we can say sign up by the sixteenth. If you don't sign up by the sixteenth, that's it. Athena, am I allowed to say that? Yeah, it's up to you how you want to schedule the interviews, but uh, just keep in mind that we need to post the names for each date and um, the statements of interest will be, um, we need to establish the, the deadline. Um, yeah. So it's, I, in my mind, it should be the same deadline, regardless of the interview date. In the policy, it says the deadline is like, you know, a little more than 48 hours ahead of the interview date or the the chair establishes it in advance of the interview date because they need to be posted at the same time the interviews are posted. Um, so there's just some like to make sure that all of those things kind of align so that even if okay. somebody isn't interviewing until the 29th, everything comes in at the same time. So it's equitable. Yeah. Okay. So we should make, so what I'm hearing is the inter, the post meeting for interviews and the SOI deadline needs to be the same, basically same couple of hours. Um, or po post five. the meeting for interviews. Um, I, I have to look at the policy again, but I believe that we need to post the statements of interest at the same time we post the meeting. Okay. So let me fix that. Let me, I think, I'm going to check the policy. I'm pretty sure you're right. Okay. Councilor Ryan? Again, I'm going to make the case um, for simply reaching out to the people who have uh, submitted their uh, application and saying, thank you very much. SOIs, describing briefly what they are, are due on this date and you've been assigned this time and date for an interview. And you just you just assign everybody a time and a date. And um, and then if people get back to you and say, oh, I can't do that. Um, All right. And, yeah. Otherwise, I mean, I, I just, and others can, I may have different thoughts on this, but if you just say, here's a sign-up sheet. Um, I, I guess I'm trying to think out loud here. If there's a sign-up sheet mm -hmm. and you're waiting for people to sign up, and it's only half full, 
and the time the deadline is here. You're going to have to reach out to all those people and say, are you coming or are you not? Um, and uh, I, I just, I'm not convinced that people are going to sign up. Um, I'm not sure it's going to save you any time or headache. Um, this is a, a complicated, painful process. Um, I don't know what others think, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. you just tell people, here's your day, here's your time, be there. And if they have a problem, they'll reach out to you. Um, I'm going to throw one more wrench into this, George, sure. which is that I am uh, leaving the country and not going to have internet for the next week. So that's you, part of you, why I'm... You may have to have them reach out to, to Fred I, or, I may or, have, need to have yeah. some support here. Yeah, um, no, it's that you have four I, other members. So we I, I know. I, Lynn, yeah. hang on. Athena's got her hand up, then I'll come to you. Athena? Uh, you're muted. The, the oh, statements yeah. of interest are going to be due a week in advance of the interview date. So we'll need to establish that deadline in, by the 15th. Um, they're posted on the town website all at the same time, at least one week in advance of the meeting at which interviews will take place. Mm -hmm. And then that's the close of the applicant pool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, George, my, my worry with your method, I don't think that it's, I don't think it's a bad method. My worry um, is that um, making the assumption about folks timing is going to be um is going to lead to a lot of a lot of the I'd rather do this time I'd rather do this time whereas the sign up we say if you have not signed up for an interview at by this point we assume you are not interested in for in pursuing the process further um but I I do see your point that it's probably going to be chasing some folks down Lynn I personally like the idea that there is a sign up and that people pick their time it's kind of like when parents have to pick their time to have their kids uh, interviews, you know, their kids at school. And um, okay. if they don't, if they don't sign up and we've given them plenty of warning, then that's their problem. Um, All right. So yeah, no. oh, go ahead, George. So we are having how many interviews uh, for the sake of argument on the 22nd, we're up to nine people on the 23rd, up to nine people. Mm -hmm. And then on the 29th, anyone left over, um, and we're not going to we're not going to give them an option of the 29th. We're just going to say 22nd, 23rd, and hopefully everyone because I think we had I, my last count was 19. So See, then we're going to need the 29th. Uh, well, unless someone we'll, drops. Well, maybe we'll just go a little, <laughs> a little bit later. I don't know. Um, um, so what I think we also can do, yeah, George. So if someone ha if someone reaches out then and says none of the time and times in your sign up sheet work, I will tell them like that we can add them on the 29th. Um, their SOIs are due the same day. We will be posting the 29th meeting on the 15th, right, Athena? Because it has to all be, we want to post them all at the same time. Right. It doesn't so give that, them, like, yeah. That was the, that was the point I was making. Mm -hmm. um, the policy says that they're posted a week in advance of the interview date, but it doesn't make sense to me that we would allow, um, that the yeah. committee would allow some statements of interest to be due you know, a day or a week earlier than others. Yeah. So Agreed. in my mind, they they would all be posted, all those statements of interest and in interview meetings would be posted on the same day. And um, I would suggest, I, I see that you moved it to the 15th. I would suggest the 14th because you're going to be waiting okay. on so many and I, I'm going to need to get all that done on the 15th. And so okay. unless yep. the deadline is like 8 a.m. on the 15th or something, then I just want to no, make sure no, that no, I have time to do all of that. Okay. So Anna, in, in yeah. regards to your being away, let's, I mean, I think that I, I'm more than glad to help, um, you know, deal with trying to contact people and, you know, scheduling people. I just need to, you know, you just need to be clear what needs to get done and um, make sure somebody's doing it while you're out of the country. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes. Right. Athena? Just adding that the 15th is less than a week away. And so asking people to write a statement of interest is, I mean, I would su strongly suggest that the chair or the chair's designee solicit those statements of interest as quickly as possible so that people have as much time as That's they a look at my That's Look a at my calendar. I've got it set for tomorrow. Um, we can do it tonight though. I, yeah, no, I agree. That's, 
I mean, we're giving them five days. That's really not a lot. I mean, I, I'm, I hate to say that, but um, you're going to have to tell them, give them some idea of what we're looking for. Um, and ideally, you try to give them, well, at least a week, probably two weeks, really. But I guess we just don't have the time. Ah, uh, yeah. I leave at 2.30 in the morning. We've got tons of time. How okay? I, let me let me clarify this then. I how long are the statements of interest? Are they they're, they're short, right? They're relatively short. I think we give you a know? word length. We give a length. Um, I forget what it is. But, okay, yeah, it's like five hundred page five hundred words. Yeah, for sure. And what we usually it? provide instructions. There, there's usually some kind of description because you know, it. yeah, yeah. it's been a while since I've looked at this, but. Okay, I'm just going to um, acknowledge my own humanity here and say, yeah, I'm definitely going to need some help specifically with this project, given my own schedule for the next couple of days um, and my lack of internet that I will have um, starting at tonight. So, um, Lynn. Yes. I am more than glad to help. Oh, that, oh your hand was up. I wasn't, uh, oh. I was not assigning you. <laughs> that was it. Sorry. That was all. But I Sorry. appreciate that. Um, uh, all right. So I think the question is, are we giving people enough time to do statements of interest? If we give them five days, if we email them tonight or tomorrow morning, does the committee, George is shaking his head. Well, I mean, just given the length of time this is taken and then suddenly to send him, send people an email and say, and by the way, we want an SOI within five days. Yeah. I can understand I, they're a bit peeved. Um, I, I actually agree with okay. you, George. It's kind of like hurry up and wait. Yeah, no, and then all of a sudden we're rush, rush, rush. Right. That's not very. Um, so we may just have to. This may just get pushed off. I don't know. Uh, it's okay. just. Yeah. So one possibility. Let's let's look at the at the week that includes the 29th, the twenty eighth, the twenty ninth. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So Monday night is open because we don't have a council meeting. Uh, right. That is. I believe isn't that Memorial Day? That's Memorial yeah, that's Day. Why we don't have a council meeting. <laughs> that's right. That's we don't. I yeah. knew there was a reason. That was a reason, right? Yeah. Oh. Right, okay. um, <laughs> it's either a Monday holiday or we have council. Um, so, and I'm the problem on the thirtieth. What if we go into June? Let's just push it out. Is that does that horrify people if we go into June? No. The only reason it horrifies me is I didn't make a calendar for June, so we'll have to. You'll have to. Oh, bear uh, with me here. I mean, I'm not. No, 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 no. We can do it. We can do it. Um, you know what? Look at the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and I want you. The reason I want you to look at that is for some reason I already had that on my calendar. I don't know why. I think it was the meeting you weren't there, Anna. Four, five, and six of June. Mm -hmm. June. And it was, we talked about it, them being from 6.30 to 9.30, three nights in a row. After a town council meeting on the third. Yeah. yeah, yeah It's well, still going to be a brutal week, but we won't have the finance committee hearing. I mean, you need to give people time to do this. I mean, we can't, I just. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I know. I, I know, you know, it's not their fault. That it's and and can I just suggest that maybe since we're going to wait so long for that one, that we try to squeeze finance in before. Well, let's, let's deal with one at a time. Hang before. on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure this is going to work. Um, that means so that this is, it we, doesn't go to the council until the 17th. That's correct. That's the only, that's, and that unless we do it this week, that's the only way that it's yeah. And they won't start meeting until July. If I mean, they, they, maybe is, maybe they can meet for last. You know, week. It's, yeah. but, but George, they're, they were probably yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah. Okay. They may not meet till September, and then they may come back and say, "Can we have a six month extension?" And that's right. fine too. That's fine. I, and. You know, I know I understand. I think it, I agree. It makes sense, though it's painful to get these done. Boom, boom, boom. Do it. Try to do it. 21, 22, 23 um, is is out, right? We've agreed to that. Twenty eight, twenty nine, yeah, thirty. Yeah, yeah, it's just. You don't have the time. So I think it has. I, to be, yeah. 
Okay. So what we will look like is that we would, we're going to work backwards from, hang on, I'm deleting things so that we don't get confused. Working backwards from here, then we, if we want the SOI deadline and the posting the meeting, Athena, we could still do that the Monday before, right? You're talking about doing four, five, six, right? Yeah. That's what we're trying out, right? right. So the, I, I have to post those things on the 28th. Oh, it's posted a week. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the, so we're looking then at the 24th, which is the Friday, unless we have them due on a Sunday. There's no reason why we couldn't have them due on a weekend, right? Yep. No, That's there fair. is a reason. Oh, there I'm not reason. working on the weekend. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you don't need to do anything. Sorry. Yes, I need to post them. Memorial on Day is a holiday. Day is the deadline. Okay. Mm -hmm. Athena, what would you recommend as the person who has to be posting them? Um, I would prefer the deadline be Friday so that they you can ensure that they're all in and everything is all set the Friday before the interviews. And then um, my deadline is that Tuesday. Okay, so I can keep it on the 24th. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. And you're, you're not working on a weekend. I'm not working Correct. on the weekend. So you give them all to me at the end of the day on the 24th, and then I have on the 28th to get them posted. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to move post meeting to the 28th. SOI deadline, SOI deadline stays on the 24th. Mm -hmm. Okay. That gives them two weeks to do that SOI, which I think is probably plenty. That's more than enough. That that okay. is, that's more than sufficient, but it's it gives them a chance. Um okay. I think that's a, a good solution. Yeah. All right. But, so yeah, you still will need you will need help getting because you're gonna be gone. I will still need help. I am I have part. not let that part go. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, um and what we can, okay um, the offer's still open <laughs> sure no. it it right. will be taken up um i'm trying to figure out what makes the most sense if we want to just try to hash this out now um or i can call someone tomorrow man this is the worst time to leave uh seemingly ever um are we good does this calendar make sense my help aside or my needing help aside does this work we have s just to confirm we will solicit the soi starting tomorrow the deadline for the sois is the 24th right we post the meetings for the interviews on the 28th um soi deadline and i'm going to say sign up for interview deadline on yes. the 24th mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay um and then post the meeting for the interviews on the 28th day after Memorial Day. <clears throat> we'll have two days of meetings, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday from 6.30 to 9.30. Um, and then we will deliberate at our meeting on the 6th. Send the mm -hmm. recommendation to the council for their for the following meeting. It should be on the council agenda for the 13th or whatever the next. Which is good uh, Good time. Meet to the 17th. So it's a 17th, long time. sorry. 17th, yeah. But that's what it is. It's unfortunate, but Counselors will have a, a while to be able to digest and read the um, recommendations that we make. And okay. we, yeah, the sixth will be open for any special cases where people can't do the fourth or yep. fifth, or God knows what. We're not going to give them that choice. We're going to let them, um, we'll give them the fourth and fifth. And if they they say they can't do either one, then whoever, either you or Freke or someone will reach out to them and say, well, your other option is the sixth. We'll have to, yeah, I'm going to plan the meeting agenda for the sixth as without interviews because um, right. I'd like to fit everybody else in. But if there's okay. extenuating circumstances, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, I think we need to officially adopt this schedule. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, don't, I, I, I move no, to I don't adopt the schedule. I don't think All so. right, Lynn has moved to adopt the schedule. I will second right, that. So the schedule is shown on the screen. Um, I'm gonna call the vote, Lynn. Yes. Pat. Aye. Councillor Etter? Aye. Councillor Ryan? Aye. And I am an aye as well. Whew. 
Do we need to go for a second and try and look at FinCom or not? Fine. FinCom, we should be able to interview and do, and you know what? Why don't, oh, well, will you be here for the next meeting, Anna? Yes, I will be here. So one possibility is that we interview them and choose on the 23rd. That is a possibility. Okay. Um, do they need, they need SOIs too, yes, right? Yes, they do. Yeah, but. And they yes. have to be able to come but on the that's, 23rd. That gives them at least a week for SOIs. I think a week is the minimum and I can live with that. I think five days. Yeah especially with charter because it's been so long, but then has been just as long. So, but it's a smaller group and I, I yeah. So we but I believe there. there's still only three, right? I think so. And we I are just, it. yeah, we're interviewing for just the slot for one year, right? If the end date is a year from, from now, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Is that what we decided? I believe so that's correct. Position that would end uh, uh, June 25, June 30, All right, 25. So I'm not going to, mess with it on this um screen for a second but we're, we're saying so solicit sois on the 10th sois would be due wait no because athena needs a week so sois would be due the 16th and we're asking athena to post on the 16th for for fincom interviews right mm -hmm. okay wait if you want to do the interviews on the 23rd mm -hmm. uh, your deadline is the 15th so that i can do it on the 16th Okay, so SOI deadline would then be the 15th. So now we're giving them five days. That's not okay. Yeah, that's too short. Yeah, that's too short. Yep. Who well, I don't remember. I Aren't the three people already experienced on that committee? I just don't think. No, not all of them. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. So can we, can we do it on the 6th? If we do the first half of our meeting as deliberation and makeups for one, I know. Dangerous. June fifth or sixth, you mean? No, we we can't. No, 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 no. Sixth. Okay. Yes. No, wait a minute. Oh, oh, that's yeah. That's right. We've already chosen for that. Could we? What happens if we meet? I can't do the thirtieth. Crap. People said they might be avail available on the 28th. The 20, how about the 28th, 28th early? That what we were talking about, 28th early. Before CRC? Yeah, Before from CRC. four to six. We only have to do three people, so it should be, it should be less than an hour. And right. what time is CRC? 6.30. So, if we no, do there, may be, there may be conflicts, we never know, but yeah. So, then working backwards from there, the SOI deadline would be the 20th. Athena would post on the 21st. Athena? Um, just noting that that day on the 28th, we've got finance committee from two to four, then GOL interviews from four to six, then CRC 6.30 to 8.30. So you're asking for folks to be in back to back to back, which is yeah fine. Yeah. But if finance committee runs late, then I'll, the, I won't be able to open the Zoom until that, finance committee adjourn, adjourns. I, and I think that's the date they make their recommendations, isn't it? June yeah. 4 is when they're making their recommendations. No, no, that's not gonna work. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. If there's an easier way for me to do this, I'm really open to ideas. I do not know how to make this less painful. Oh, I tr I really did try to prep it out ahead of time, and it didn't nice. it really didn't work. Um, Athena, June thirteenth. Yeah. Yep. And I suggest that you consider uh, applicants for the. The current vacancy and the impending vacancy because then you can recommend somebody um i do too for, for july one are we allowed my, to do my that suggestion. based on the posting we can, can revise it 
it'll be more than 14 days by then. Freka has a hand up. Uh, pardon okay, me, Councilor okay. Ted. Um, wouldn't that require some kind of votes given we already had voted for the one position? Now we would be having um, some other spots available. Would there be some kind of votes that would have to take place? I think that we would have to vote to post the second position. Um, but what I think what Athena was saying was the requirement is that you post it for at least 14 days and this is more than 14 days out. So we're okay if we post it tomorrow um, or whenever we can post it in the next couple of days, ideally, um, that we would be okay to, to fill both positions during this week. Councilor Atay? So it would be how many positions and um, how many how many people do we have in the box, whatever the box is called? Yeah. Um, calf, um, you mean yes. yeah, how many calves we have? Yeah. So, so we have a number that is appropriate for that switch. Basically, do we need to determine the pool sufficient mm -hmm. if we're adding another position? Yes, we would. We'd have to have a second, we'd have to do a separate vote to determine the full sufficient. And that would have to happen after we post it. So we would have to moving forward that way. Um, it's still, I think enough time, right? So if we at our meeting on the 23rd, vote the pool for finance and vote the interview questions and the selection guidance, which hopefully wouldn't change, but if folks have changes to it, that's fine. But we've we did just vote them recently. We just did. Then, yes. yep. Well, we have to vote them again for the next opening. I think you have to vote them each time. I know, George, I know. Right. Um, it's okay. So um, then it's still exactly 14 days. Um, Athena, does that work? So if we do, if we, do we need to vote to post the position? No. Okay. So if we post the position this week, whenever, um, sometime we come again together, we come together again on the 23rd <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm, so sorry. I'm sorry, Anna, you're doing a great job. Just keep I don't going. feel like it. So you we are. come back together on the 23rd on the 23rd. We vote hypothetically, I'm not predicting a vote, but we hypothetically would vote the pool the application questions, the selection guidance, and the interview dates. Until we vote those interview dates, I am not confirming interview dates for the second position of FinCom. But if that worked out, and for the first position that we're trying to fill, we would then say interviews are on the 6th, working backwards from there, we need the SOIs due the 28th, so that Athena can post it before the 30th. Or sorry, we need SOIs due the 29th so that Athena can post it on the 30th for interviews on the 6th. That's. I think you just covered all the bases. Okay. Um, so. I lost my entire train of thought. Can we vote the yep. interview dates for the first round of FinCom today if we do that and post the second position as a separate process? I thought that that is what we had agreed to originally. We're that's going, to do, that's what I thought, we're going right? to do the immediate position, the short yeah. now, and we'll deal with the other one later. Um, but what we decided I just up to the do... dates I just told you. Yeah. No. We decided to, in fact, post again and do both of them at once. Right. And so what Anna is saying is, yes. can we vote these dates? Yes, we'll have to re-vote them probably for the both later, but at least this gets it on our calendars. All right, so what did I just, what did I just say we were gonna do? 
I want to put it in here so I don't forget. We are going to interview you for the finance committee position mm -hmm. on the on May, I mean on June 13th. Yep. Um so that's not our it's not a regular, regular it's not a regular meeting session. It's not a regular meeting. So we're we meet on have the to 20th. Call a special it isn't meeting. No, we meet on the 20th. <clears throat> oh boy, I missed my calendar. Why not do it on the twentieth? Because our calendar got messed up when when um when council yeah. got changed. Uh, it it threw Pat and I off last week too. I panicked and sent Athena an agenda, and she was like, "Why are you panicking? It's mm -hmm. not helpful." Okay, we so we're meeting, meeting on the sixth. <laughs> Athena, I'm summarizing. <laughs> Why don't we just meet on the twentieth and interview them then? We're going to be having a brutal week on the 4th, y'all. I'm just saying, unless it, the only reason, Lynn, is I think we have a council meeting on the 17th. We do. So. And so I think the thought was if oh. we met the 13th, we can get it to the council. Okay. But if people, again, I'm, that was, I'm just saying that was the logic. I'm not advocating one way or another. I'll, it's on my calendar, so I'm fine. I um, could does anyone the have the 13th. Councilor Ate? I'm completely lost. Could someone? <laughs> yeah, I can back you up. So here's what you would need. The, the no, only thing man. you need to look for on your calendar right now is if you're available for a special meeting on the 13th of June at 6.30, I'm assuming. Athena, are you available at that time? And I, I, I'm just objecting to this, having this many meetings of this committee for reasons that I'm still trying to, why, what is the, 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 the haste um, it, at this point? Because um, then we'll be meeting a week later on the 20th. And it's not if as we, if we, yeah, yeah. Maybe we won't. We also oh, we have do. a council meeting, but we also have a council meeting on the 24th. Yes, so yes, it yes. would only push it a week if we decided to just keep it at our normal meeting. Right. It would only push it one week versus the normal two. If we need the meeting on the 24th. You may not need a council. That's the council. Meeting. That is your decision. Okay. All right. If we the vote the I'm budget. getting lost right now. We're talking. Okay. I'm the chair. Here's I'm, I'm, I'm going to step in as a chair here. I've already added six hours to your calendar in June. I don't want to add more. I want to keep us on the 20th. We're going to do interviews on the 20th, if that works, because I think it's too much right now with the budget hearings and everything else. Well, how why? Does I'm just trying impact, to be assertive. How does that impact other things that are coming forward for GOL's agenda? Because we're talking about the reparations committee, et cetera. Uh, there are things that... We have so much that we have not even touched yet. Um, that was part of the impetus behind my attempt to rein us in on other things today, because even, but we haven't even gotten the AHRA report yet, but even before that, we have town manager evaluation, town manager goals, legislative process guide, nuisance bylaw there. The things are really stacking up and I'm feeling uh, a bit stressed about it. So it doesn't, if we wanted to add a meeting to get through things, that's a different conversation. Um, the FinCom interviews, considering there are so few people, will be done within an hour, is my estimate. Um, and so I am i don't feel the need to add a special meeting for that, um, given the fact that we will have had nine hours of meeting the week before with this committee. Councilor Ryan? I hear you and I sympathize, but you're also making the excellent point that um, we have a lot of other things on our plate. And the more we keep pushing this off to regular meetings like the 20th, which I sympathize with tremendously, the harder it's going to be for us to get to the other things we have to do. So I guess I'm leaning towards just gritting the teeth and um, meeting on the 13th to deal okay. with FinCom yeah. and the 20th would be hopefully we can try right. to get back to some of the important things that we are also trying to do. Okay. I don't see how so, we can do anything else between now and then other than interviews and votes for these two positions. Yep. Okay. 
So, so if we do FinCom interviews on the 13th, 13th from 6.30 to 7.30. Right. Um, and then seven. And we'll deliberate after. Yeah, deliberation afterwards. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. So as long as I don't try not to burn people out more than I we already do. Um, so I appreciate the committee backing backing this date up. Thank you. All right. So if we did the thirteenth, we call a special meeting of GOL from six thirty to seven thirty for interviews, and we'll be. I'm giving us a half an hour to deliberate. Um, so six thirty to eight o'clock on the 13th as a special meeting. Okay. Is there anyone who can't make that date? Okay, working backwards. Interviews need to be posted on the 6th. SOIs need to be due the 5th. Okay. Um, I will also, I would appreciate if there are other, other folks who would help me with the communications around these interviews as well but i will uh take the committee up on offers for for that why don't you um um do, do people have a file from how we've done this in the past george maybe you do yes it's in our sharepoint drive it's really yeah. helpful okay um, from george. we all can consult that um you also could just simply uh, assign for a specific body, like FinCom's easy, that's only three people. Um, so you mm -hmm. might want to take that yourself. But if you're not here, you would just assign it to a member. Just give our email and say, if you, uh, you know, contact, you know, Counselor X for any questions, da, 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 da. All right. So. With, with Charter, it's a lot more bodies. Yeah. But I don't know how to get around that. We don't have an email address that's just for the committee. It's it's got to go to individual counselors, and it normally go to you, but yeah. you, you could. Uh, uh, I don't know. So let me outline what needs to be done and see if there's someone who's willing to do it. So I want to start with charter. What I would need for someone to do is tomorrow or tonight, but by tomorrow evening, to email everyone who has sent in an S uh, a a uh, oh my God a CAF for charter review, I will update that list tonight to make sure it's the most current right after this meeting. You would email everyone on that list, letting them know what the dates are. You would also need to create, if you, if this is the method you choose, create a sign-up sheet through, if you've used Sign Up Genius before or Doodle before, um, you can use those to have people sign up for an interview slot or you can do another method of your choice for that. You would need to tell people the um, deadline for statements of interest and explain to them what statements of interest are. Um, you can pull that guidance from the FinCom folder and change, like we'll just need to look at, make sure the language doesn't say FinCom. Um, and just reiterate the deadlines again. Is there anything missing from that to-do list? And That's we need right. somebody to do that for FinCom and somebody. Yeah, I'm just starting. I'm just starting with just starting with charter review. Hang on, just okay. starting with charter review. But I will, I will get to FinCom. So okay. charter review will have somewhere between 17 to 20 people. Is anyone I'll interested do, in? Pers I'll do charter. Okay, thank you. I'm, si I'm sitting for two hours tomorrow listening to a committee. I'll do it while I'm listening. Okay, okay. Thank you very very much for that. I'll update the CAFs tonight just to make sure. Um, as CAFs come in, Lynn, are you able to reply to them with the same information? Because people can still submit CAFs up until the SOI deadline. Okay, thank you. Councilor Ryan, your hand is up. No, it's not. Okay, all right. So that's charter taken care of. Is there anything I missed regarding charter review? We're gonna need a copy of this calendar all of us yeah i'm gonna uh, post it i, I guess I can, in sharepoint uh the easiest that, rather than sending it to us yeah athena i can SharePoint. save it as a pdf and put it in sharepoint right okay i will do that after the meeting let me write that document. would be very helpful so Councilor Ate? i have a backup in an email mm -hmm. thank you 
Okay. Um, Councillor, can I just email you the dates, or do you want the PDF? Which would you prefer? Either one. It's the same. Same difference. I like PDFs. Okay. Um, all right. Does that take care of charter review? Let's go. Remember how much was on our agenda today? Uh, let's go to FinCom. Mm. All right. So FinCom, second verse, same as the first, but um, I think that because there are much, much fewer, many fewer, far fewer people. There we go. <laughs> um, far fewer people. It will be less time consuming. So for FinCom, there are templates for these emails, I believe, uh, in the folder. Thank you, George. And you would email the folks who have submitted CAFs for FinCom saying you have to submit a statement of interest. It is due on June 5th. Um, and similarly, please tell us a time or however you want to handle the sign up for an interview. The interview date again is, I'm sorry, I'm just 13th. June 13th. Thank you. Thank you. I will take on FinCom. Hopefully Thank you. muscle memory will come back to me. Um, George, your templates have been a game changer. I know this calendar was a mess when I put it in, but I'd actually looked very, very deeply at those um, to, to work on this. So thank okay. you. So I will take care of that. Okay, thank you. So Lynn is gonna handle charter review interview signups. George will handle FinCom interview signups. Thank you everyone for your participation. And wherever you're going, you're bringing us back something nice, but less than $50. Tequila. <laughs> Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> fifty dollars. I'm so no. sorry. Oh, that's $50. right. I so there'll that be a special it. GOL meeting to share the tequila. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we should have one of these meetings in person. In and person, yes. Share yeah. it afterwards. But it wouldn't be a meeting. It wouldn't be. A do meeting. some research. It would just do be a some research. Gathering. Okay. Um, All right. What's next? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Okay. So we got to redo our. We got to refigure out the schedule, y'all. I, I'm going to look to my past chairs of GOL because my moment of candor here is I'm feeling really behind on GOL. We have not moved through. And so I would like to, my, my attempt today to speed us up didn't go over well. And so I, I really want to hear suggestions from folks. It doesn't need to be right now, but please tell me how we can move more smoothly through this. So to look at our plate right now, the things that we have, we have the review of the proposed nuisance bylaw. We have the review process and timing for the town manager evaluation. We have prioritization of town manager goals. We will any day now have the AHRA committee charge. Um, and then coming up, we've got things that come along our schedule normally. So I'm saying this with understanding that it is my job as chair to move us along. I need help moving us along faster because we're not getting to the things that we need to get to. So open to ideas. We've got two former chairs of GOL and a town council president here. If we, we, this is like the super group that's going to be able to figure it out. So I don't need thoughts now. And if you have them now, I'm really open, but uh, this is my moment of like, I need something. I don't know how to get us through faster. Does anyone have any thoughts for me? It might okay, help. if you don't, Lynn, yeah. uh, sorry. I, I would suggest that if we could get through nuisance. Yeah. And because um, I know I've looked at nuisance. I've yeah. already made, made, just made in my mind ones we can deal with and with ones we should send back to, mm -hmm. to CRC. CRC. And then then it's off our plate until it comes back and, okay. and that, we get that out of the way mm -hmm. um until we see the legal review on um ahra i don't know what to suggest i really don't we also have, i forgot the legislative process guide oh, oh jesus yeah i told you we've got so much on our on our stack right now can i also Counselor mention Oh, sorry. I had yeah. a, I had an offer from uh, Ray LaRaja at the university. This is for the fall, but I think we should keep it in mind. 
he is willing to uh, supervise as many as three interns who would do research for us. Now he did this, he made this offer for the charter review committee. Uh, but for, for example, could the, could they, now it's too late to do the town manager evaluation. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm thinking out loud. I'm trying to- No, it's okay. I appreciate, I really, I appreciate it because I, I truly don't know what else to do. Yeah. Councilor Ryan. I, it's a question of priorities and a question of what the committee wants to pr put first, second, third, fourth. Um, and maybe we need to have that quick discussion. Um, I would think the town manager evaluation and town manager goals would be higher up in my priority list. The AHRA committee charge is out of our control. It comes when it comes, um, but we do have control over um, the, the town manager evaluation and the town manager goals. And we obviously have control over the nuisance property bylaw. That maybe is what we start with. Um, what other priorities do people have? I mean, do, I don't have any any interest or, or concern with the, uh, what is it you mentioned? The, uh, uh, the process. Process. Yeah. And I, I, that to me would be at the bottom of my priority list, but maybe it's the top of other people's priority list. But I would be at the bottom. HRA is not before us right now, so it's not it can't be prioritized. Um, maybe nuisance property is number one, and then we need to start looking at the town manager evaluation and goals process. Yeah. So I think thank you, George. I I agree with you and. As I've been writing them, that's kind of the order that I have been putting them in. Um, I went to my organization development world and did the little urgency versus importance matrix, right? But uh, I think that the the issue for me is more of we need long chunks of time to get through these things. And I think maybe what I can also do is try to encourage prep work for folks um, and specify what would be helpful to do ahead of time. So with nuisance, what Lynn talked about doing would be helpful for folks to do. If you can go through and highlight where you think it's it's not, again, we are, we're looking for clarity, consistency, and actionability. If there's something that you're like, I don't, this feels beyond our scope, note it so that when we come together and get to that discussion, because it's we have 10 minutes left tonight, we're not gonna get to it tonight. Um, when we get to that discussion, we can focus and just say, all right, this we agreed, we're not going to try to tackle. We want CRC to bring it back to us more fully baked um, or respond to the legal questions themselves. So if folks could, before the, before the next time that we are able to discuss this, um, before the next GOL meeting, if you can look through nuisance with that lens, it would be helpful um, and, and going in ahead of time. And then I think similarly, if folks can do markups, do track changes, download a Word document and do track changes, if you're going to do track changes at all, if you take your notes on the side, keep doing what you do, that's fine. But if you, the way you work is that you work in Microsoft Word making edits through track changes, save the file, send it to me, I can combine them right before the meeting so that we can look at something that has everyone's edits in it at the same time versus people needing to go back and forth between them. And this is what you um, want to do for nuisance. Nuisance. The okay. nuisance has a whole host of track changes that come from the lawyer. And right. that's what we're going to be working with. You're right. You're if right. If we throw right. ours in there, it's going to be absolutely It's going to be crazy. Yeah. I think we have to work with the track changes that are in the existing document <laughs> and go through that. And, and if we have changes to make, we'll have to enter them at the time. I think we certainly need to read it in advance and think about it in advance. Mm -hmm. If we start making changes to a document that already has yeah, no, I, I see changes I see in it. I see your point. I see your point. I concede. Um, I No, that's totally fine. Okay, so totally fine. Take back what I said about the track changes. But the lens of this is us or I have too many questions, right. CRC needs to answer this. Right. Right. If folks right. could use that lens when they look at it, that would be really helpful. Pat? Yeah, Sorry, I, I get yeah, I'm, I agree with George and the legislative process guide feels really low, but the AHRA, the uh, committee really looking at how we're going to do reparations feels much more important to me than even the town manager process. If we went through this year doing what we've been doing, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world around uh, how we evaluate the town manager. 
the uh, we are spo we're supposed to get legal information uh this week but what so that's that those are my priorities but what i'm wondering it to help this is whether or not like the AHRA feels really important to me whether there's another counselor and uh, we in on this committee we could subcommittee it and begin to look at it we have a lot of questions that have already come in from other counselors and stuff and then then bring that back so that mm -hmm. is there a way for us like taking it apart like a quilt and then putting things not just the AHRA but the whole list of things and mm -hmm. figuring out how we can work together by doing pieces of it and then coming back together. Pat, thank you. That's a, a really good suggestion. Can I take it and talk to Athena about practically how that might Absolutely. work and then come yeah. back with an idea? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, that could be that could be an avenue. Lynn, and then we're gonna move to minutes and we're gonna adjourn. Yeah, uh, with regard to um, nuisance bylaw. Mm -hmm. I've already gone through it. I've made underneath where it's, you know, you make your next comment. I've done things like said, I think we should accept this or this should go to CRC. Just straightforward. Yeah. That's all I've done. With regard, I part of me wants to agree with Pat that we could live with the town manager evaluation another year. We could also see if we get a student at UMass to do that research that we were going to do about other mm -hmm. towns. And in fact, maybe we could even get somebody whose work is in human resources or whose work is in evaluation. And this could be really a great project for that. Um, I, I, I do think at some point we are going to have to wrestle with the AHRA stuff. I just yep. don't know I, what it looks like. No, I, and I appreciate that. And I want to be clear. I'm not actually necessarily right now looking for guidance on prioritization because I, I feel like I'm very clear on where the committee stands. Um, and I'm right now prioritizing in kind of the same way that folks have been saying with the caveat that I don't, I don't have the report, so I can't slot it in yet. Um, and so I, I hear, I'm hearing the priorities where I'm needing the help is in speeding up our processes a bit. And so I think, um, the suggestions have been really helpful, uh, in that, in that avenue as well. So thank you. Um, we're going to take the last two comments on this. And then I think, I think, do we have minutes? I couldn't, uh, I didn't think so. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, Councilor Ryan. So the earliest we would get to anything of quote unquote substance other than what we've been talking about most of this evening in terms of interviews mm -hmm. and so forth is June 20th. That's the yep. earliest. And the next time we okay. meet is July 18th. No, wait a and I, for one, am uh, happy to not meet that much in the summer. Um, but uh, so we just need to be realistic about how much we're going to accomplish. What are we meeting? We're meeting on the 23rd. Did we? Okay. So maybe I'm looking at an so, old meeting schedule that hasn't been updated, but um, um, I have June 20th, July 18th, and August 8th. Twice in August, twice in June, but only once in July. Is, did we change that? Yeah, I'm pulling up the. That's I'll what I'm looking at. on the 18th of July. And that's it in July. Yeah, yeah but we're <laughs> meeting on May 23rd. Yes. Yeah, we've got we've got right. Yeah, and on May twenty third, so, I think we should make okay. sure we do nuisance bylaw. You want to do okay nuisance bylaw on the twenty third? Yes. And we're all so, here. I think so. And then by then, we also should have the legal review of AHRA. AHRA. Yeah. Yes. And that could and, be the twentieth. Okay. Yeah. And we may have to do some cleanup votes that allow us, for example, to interview for two people for uh, finance, yeah. income, right. that kind of thing. And maybe there's some minutes. And... So the 23rd all is right. nuisance. 23rd is nuisance. Yeah. 23rd is nuisance. And that should be all that is there. That should be it. 
correct? Right. It's going that, to take the whole meeting. Yeah, it's going to take the whole meeting, and that should be it. It will be a, the only thing that the only things that come up are proclamations and resolutions. Sometimes those can bump some time, and we can't control those if they if we can't control yeah. those if they have to be reported out by a certain mm -hmm. like if there's an event. Right. Um, and we just moved the paint one to that day. Also, the twenty third. Oh right. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll have at least two things. So don't that's, get mad at me when you see the agenda. That's has two good things. point. Paint. And nuisance. We've got paint and nuisance, which they can relate to each other. Uh, Councilor Ate, okay. you've been very patient. Um, so speaking about the proclamations and resolutions, how about we move those to the end of meetings? And so we, frankly, I think we could sleepwalk through quite a few of them. And so let's use our energy for uh, some of the big heavier weight stuff and then yeah. yeah, I appreciate that. And I think now that we've moved our meetings earlier, I'm more comfortable doing that. Um, the initial reason why we don't typically do that is sometimes proclamations and resolutions have community sponsors that come in to yeah. speak to them. And we want to be able to give them, um, you know, a clear start time. But I'm going to toss it back to my days when I was on CONCOM. You get a time for a hearing, right? You have to give a hearing date. Our, our deliberations are not hearings. I'm not saying that at all. But what we can say is we if we have a proclamation, we will give each proclamation 15 minutes um, and we will start them at this time. Whatever else we have being discussed in the meeting will stop being discussed at that time if we have a proclamation. Um, if folks are comfortable with me doing that, I, I'm, I don't mind being the bad guy and ending discussion on something else to move to a proclamation at a certain time if we have one and putting them to the end of the meeting so we have more of a deadline if, if people are okay with that. But I will end, no matter what the topic is, I will end the discussion to move to those proclamations at that point. Yeah. Okay, all right, I will do that. Um, Councilor Arte, thank you. We will shift to that. And if it doesn't work, we'll shift back. Uh, Lynn, and then we're gonna wrap up for today. Oh, my hand's not up. Oh, I move okay. to adjourn. Oh. Uh -huh. Second. <laughs> What if I didn't call a vote? All right. Uh, <laughs> Councilor Ryan. I'm sorry. Aye. You're fine. Pat. Aye. Councilor Ate. Aye. I am an I and Lynn. Aye. All right. Thank you all very much. Um, thank, thank you. you. Well, a, thanks. A great job. I mean, really, you yeah, made us plow through that. it, which <laughs> has been tough. It's really been tough. Um, yeah. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna update CAFs and um, those will be done. I'm gonna do it right now. And you're Thank sending you. me something so that I'm working tomorrow between ten and twelve to do all of the people. Yes. Okay. I don't know what I'm sending you, but yes. Okay. And a calendar, please. Calendar. Don't worry. A yes, calendar. Figured calendar. out. All right. Take care. Bye, everybody.